I'm going to leave the slides and have the two pictures. <laughs> There's nothing here proprietary. I mean. So a typical startup in our future lab now is A, at this technology phase, we take them between series A, uh, between seed stage and series A. Typically series A for most companies has been three to five million. We had one Israeli cybersecurity company, their series A was 14 million. We are very selective. We only let startups in that we feel we can help and support. So their te technology has to be somewhat aligned with the research strength. But what we found, the biggest obstacle to success is actually the team. When we have actually startups that fail while they're in our future lab, so nine out of 10 cases, we don't have many, but almost always they fail because there is infighting between the co-founders. So if we sort of sense that there is tension between, uh, within the team, we'd like to stay away because we, we in invest a lot of resources in terms of people time. In that. So we want these startups to, to succeed. We typically let them stay four times six months. Every six months we sit down with each of the startups and go over technology milestones and business milestones. Uh, We felt that we need to go back a little bit. Yeah. So when you go through <coughs> that like, uh, review process, yeah. uh, does NYU uh, engineering faculty get involved as part of the review? We, get the, we, we have a small group of, of, of faculty engineers in, in, in residence, and we actually ask them to give us an assessment of some of the technologies, but we also go outside. We go to our network of mentors and, and advisors and get input from people with domain expertise, particularly when we feel we don't have the domain expertise in-house. Mm -hmm. So okay. we, it, it's, a, it, it, it's, a, it's about a, can be up to two months due diligence process before we say yes or no. Mm -hmm. okay. So we went back recently and, and said, we need to revisit where we started, really supporting very early stage startups. So we created this free incubation catalyst program that is a six month program for early stage companies, sort of a boot camp that lasts up to six months, and hopefully at the end of the six months, then they're actually ready to transition into our uh, regular two year program. The jury is out whether it works. We just graduated the first cohort of the Catalyst program. We had six startups there, four of them actually made it, uh, and we'll see how they actually fare once they, once they actually enter the next round program. Uh, 